So today I want to talk a little bit about recycling and reusing around the house. Hey everyone, it's Angela Allen from the Handmade Homestead. Well, the garden is finally winding down. Now don't get me wrong, there's plenty out there to harvest and I still go out every day and harvest things for that day's meals. And there are still things I'm dehydrating and putting in the freezer. But there's no more really big, huge amounts of produce that I have to spend an entire day putting away, processing, canning, freezing, whatever. So I'm finally able to get back to my true love, which is weaving. Now in our household, we try not to throw things away. If something is usable, like an extra blender or some throw pillows that I no longer need, but they're in clean, good condition, I give those away on a local buy nothing site. It's a Facebook group here in my town. I know they're present all over the US. You just have to look for one in your area. But I give away those items for free to anybody in my community that might want them. But it's a really good way to be in touch with your community, what your community needs, to offer things to other people that you no longer need rather than throw them away. And frankly, I've met a lot of really great neighbors that way. Some of them have become really good friends, so I'm really grateful for that. Something I never throw away, if I can help it, is fabric. I can always find a way to reuse it. And being a weaver, that's kind of an easy thing. This, for the rug that I'm making a rug right now on the loom next to me, and um, this is all t-shirt material that I've collected, stripped down into one inch strips and then into circles and then I just kind of tied them and kind of loop them through into one long continuous loop and that's what I'm weaving with. This rug will probably use 50 t-shirts by the time I'm done with it. That's a really great way to not waste material. I'll also do that with sheets, any kind of cotton material, any kind of t-shirt material, any kind of denim that isn't in super short lengths, and if it is, I can find another use for that. But I try to not waste, even in my weaving studio, even the threads, um, threads that come off the loom that aren't woven, the part where you tie on to the back and the front of your loom, they can be this big or even three feet. I weave that down to the very final inch if I can, and any of the leftover yarn, I use that for other projects. If I need to tie something on, if I need an extra string for something, need to hang something, need to fix a string that broke on my warp, I reuse that stuff too. So I am reusing t-shirts. I reuse sheets regularly. I reuse denim. I reuse um, even some polyester fabrics. Yeah, I know it's not great for the environment, but I think it's much less of a problem for the environment to reuse those things instead of just throwing them directly into the landfill. So rather than throwing that polyester dress away that somebody's getting rid of, I can strip that down, make that into a rug that will last 20 or 30 years or more. I make things to wash. All of the things I make pretty much, except for the wool items I make, are machine washable and you just dry flat. Um, even the wool rugs are washable. You just hand wash them a little differently. You would never put them in your washer. But I even recycle plastic bags, plastic trash bags, plastic grocery bags into rugs. And I do have one of those rugs I just completed on my loom. And I'll put a little picture of it right up here so you can see that entire rug is made out of nothing but plastic bags except for the strings that go lengthwise to hold it together. Those are cotton and it was recycled cotton yarn or thread. But all of the rugs, all of that color that you see in that rug, they are all recycled plastic bags that would have just been thrown away in a trash and ended up in a landfill. Now that rug can go right in the washer, not in the dryer, but right in the washer whenever it needs to be washed and it will last on the floor regular use walking on it like in your bathroom floor or your kitchen 
by your kitchen sink. It will last for years that way. Probably 10 years maybe, 15 years, depends on how much traffic you have. And then you can just wash it in the washer in between. So I reuse what I can reuse. It's just part of what I do. It's part of being handmade. On this homestead, I hand make everything that I can. And that's some of what I do. So I'm gonna show you some of this weaving just so you can see how amazing trash can turn out to be. And um, if you're looking for anything else, I'd make them out of wool too. I recycle yarn, I'll get into that in a minute in the video. But if you're looking for any of them, you can just pop over to my Etsy stop. You'll be able to see some of the finished items that I've made just to get an idea of what's possible when you recycle fiber and plastics and fabric into usable items rather than throw them away. What I'm weaving here is a rag rug and it is, it is pretty colorful. All of these rags that are in my little trolley right here, I've ripped up into, or cut up into one inch strips. And this is actually a very special rug. I'm making it as a Christmas gift for my daughter and her boyfriend. And um, they have a new home, they live in another state. And uh, all of these, every bit of these rags, every single one, this was a t-shirt of Elena, her name's Elena t-shirt of Elena's this was a t-shirt of I think my husband's this was a t-shirt of Elena's I think leftover from a David Cook concert um, this was a tank top of Elena's all of these rags all of them I stripped from clothes that I had ha in my bin to use for this purpose but they are all her clothes everything in this rug except for one of the white t-shirts and one of the red t-shirts everything else and some of this red actually was from her clothes too. So everything in here is a familiar color and a familiar pattern and were hers. So it gives me uh, great joy to be able to hand make her a little throw rug for, you know, her bathroom or her kitchen floor or next to the bed, whatever she wants to do with it, totally up to her, but out of her clothes and those memories that are hers. As a weaver, I've always done my best to work in reclaimed fabrics as much as I can. Reclaimed fiber, sometimes I um, use yarn or um, even straight up fleece right off the sheet to make rugs or other items. And I'll give you a good example of reclaimed. Right here behind you. <laughs> you can't see because it's off camera. But it's stuck. This shuttle has yarn on it. I don't know if you can see this yarn. It's really thick. And it's really thick for a reason because I've been using it to make rugs. But this is a combination of a bunch, let me put that up there, a bunch of different yarns that I have reclaimed or recycled or given to me or would have been thrown away. And they are being used, I just spun them together so that I could get a nice thick yarn appropriate for rug weaving. And I've made a couple of rugs out of this. I have it in a bunch of different colors. This is actually one of the other colors that I did a rug in. Um, and I will use these all together to make yet another rug. So um, again, this is a combination of wool, different wool yarns, some are hand spun. Some are commercially prepared, some were destined from the trash, some are leftover remnants. But all of it has been reclaimed for this purpose rather than throw it away. Now this rug is almost done. You can see by my tape measure, when I get to the end of my tape measure, right here, so about this much more, so maybe five inches, and this rug will be done, and I'll be able to just keep rolling it forward and start the next project right after it. I warped this rug. Warp are the strings going this way. Weft are the 
materials or strings going this way. I warped this for 15 rugs. I've done five, six, seven, eight. This is my ninth rug. Um, when I'm done, I'm going to rewarp it probably for shawls for my Etsy shop. Or, I don't know. <laughs> you never know. Maybe it'll bug will hit me to make 15 more rugs. These four rugs will all get surged on the edge and then hemmed so they'll have a finish edge similar to this one. You see how it's reversible so it's got a finished edge. That's for these four rugs. This one's already done. And those three over there, these three will all have hand tied fringe. So that's why they're there. I don't want to disturb the weaving until I sit down and tie them. And there's three of those, so I'm going to get all that done so that I can get them washed and prepped and ready for my Etsy shop. Well, thank you for joining me today while I made cottage rugs, or rag rugs as they're commonly called too. And we so appreciate your support. I'll see you in a couple of days for my next video. Until then, take care.